Hey, how's it going? And today I thought it'd be fun to do this kind of fly into the sun fly through. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into games and we're just going to go into a blank project. No starter content. And I'm just going to call this fly to the sun. And we create. It just takes a minute for this to load up. I'm still trying to figure out how to attach a camera to the first person. And I think that I have to go into C++ to do it. I've tried doing this already, so you'll have to excuse me if there's some missteps along the way. But I'll try to go as smoothly as I can. But if we go into edit, we go into plugins, we're going to need the take recorder. So you go take recorder. And we'll go restart now. And so what I'm trying to do is set the camera up so that it flies into the sun. And what I've found in doing this is that it's easier just to move the sun. <laughs> so here we are in our, our 3D space. And there's the sun over there. But let me put a camera in and I'll show you. We'll keep an eye on this control over here. It's showing our kind of our orientation. X on the X and Z, X, Y, and Z. Mostly on the X and Z, those are the two coordinates that we can basically move the camera on. I don't know if you'll notice this right now, but we're not lined up. So let's just go ahead and take care of that because I know it's gonna be an issue right now. So we can only really move the camera the way I'm doing it. So we wanna move it, we can move it on either the Y or the X. So it looks like we're lined up with the X, but we're we're really not. So I'll show you what we can do. What we're going to do is we're going to hit Control and L at the same time. And then you see this thing? Okay, so you can see the axes right there. So we're just going to line up the sun. It's hard, really hard to see from this angle, but I'm trying to line the sun up. See, I'm, see how off I am there? So look. I'm just trying to line this sun up with the control again. You can see how far off I was. So I'm just lining it up to the green axis there. And I'm not, I'm pressing control plus L. I'm just moving the mouse. I'm not, I'm not clicking any of the left or right buttons. So then I'm just going to line up on that, with that green area. You see that? So that will be lined up with our motion. And then I just let go of control. So we should be okay and set up there. And there's the sun. So we're going to fly this direction. Okay, so then all we have to do is we have the take recorder here. Now watch what happens as soon as I click on this tab, left click. It automatically opens up the sequencer, which is what we want. And then to get the camera, it's really super easy. We just click the camera. And there's some controls on here that seem a little finicky to me. But this is basically our, our working range. And so we can make this big. So we can put in a thousand here. And we can put zero here. And then if we come over here, this kind of shows us the range that we're working with, dragging this. So it looks like that's about 6 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. So let's make this clip about 20 seconds long. Now I was confused about this for the longest time, but this is just a marker, this red thing. So if I click and drag it, I thought that I was creating keyframes there, but I'm not. What I have to do is click on this and click and drag this. So you see where it says 0 to 120? And now it's got the double arrows and you click and drag this, not the whole thing. Now that's extending our keyframes. So now we got about a 22 second. We see now we got 500, 0 to 540 frames. So, so that's good enough. So that expands our frames right there just by clicking and dragging that. So we're all set up there. That's all good. And then at the same time, we're also in the pilot active, which means we're seeing things the way the through as if we're looking through the camera, which is fine. But I can tell right now, just looking at this, that we're pretty kind of zoomed in for some reason. So let's just make this a little wider angle. And then our aperture is really low, so that's a very shallow depth of field. So we'll just bump this up to like 40, or I don't think there's a camera in the world that has an aperture of 40. So we're just gonna now we're now that we have that set the kind of the way we want it, we're just gonna hit a, for a keyframe there and a keyframe there, and then that kind of locks that down. 
So now all we have to do is just mess around with the camera and kind of get our get our movement for this whatever this will be 22 seconds. So and that will be under transform. Now it should be if we're on a line. I did this right. If we go into location and we go along, what was it? The Y, I guess. That now if we're moving, we'll be moving toward the sun. See it like that? Okay. So we're going to start right about here. Let's back up a little bit. I'm just backing up. What am I at? Like 11. Let's, let's just start right there. So I'm happy with that. So we'll go ahead and we'll create a uh, keyframe there. And then we'll just go ahead and move the playhead and we'll kind of just kind of fly up almost to the base of those mountains. So now I'm just clicking on the Y and we're just coming in like that. Still clicking and dragging. And maybe like right about here, we'll also increase our height and that would be on the Z. And we'll do that. And that should clear the mountains for us. And now I'll just click and let's go ahead and hit the keyframe there to lock. Oops, let me drag this back. I messed up. Let me click here. Okay. So on this keyframe here, I could, should have lowered it a little bit to start. Like right there. I didn't keyframe that, that's why. There we keyframe that. We keyframe this. Okay, now we'll click and drag out here. And right about here, I'm going to adjust the Z up a little bit. So we'll clear those mountains. And then I'm going to just click and drag here to right about there. And then we'll on the Z, we'll just keep on the Y. Oh, I better probably come up a little bit. So let me come up here. And let's just fly out a little bit further. And I'll come up a little bit more. Whoops, maybe that's too far now. Uh oh, I guess I went too high. It kind of reminds me of Minecraft where, you know, maybe I went too far. Okay, so then anyway, you can play around with these. So if we hit play, let's see what it looks like. Coming up. Oh, I went right through the mountains, didn't I? So let's see. Let me stop and I'll come back. Click right here on this keyframe. And let's uh, go ahead and raise up on the Z right there and see if that resolves the problem. Yeah, and that should do it, I think. So just come in and play around with those keyframes till you, till you get it where you like it. I notice I'm kind of ascending a little bit more than... I want to, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. So anyway, then what we do, once we have our keyframe set and we like our animation, then we just come in here, we click on here, and we're going to raise our quality settings all the way up. I'm not going to put it at 24 frames. I'm going to use a custom frame, and I'm going to use this one here, the NTSC one. And then I always recommend doing this as a PNG, and then we just pop this into a file on my desktop. I have a folder here, a new folder. and go select folder. And all I have to do now is just go capture movie. Save selected. Save. And then it'll go ahead and render it out. And that's it. And there is kind of our flying to the sun shot. And you can make this as long as you want it to go, as, as far as your world will go. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day. And I will talk to you next time. Well, I can show you this too before I go. If I go, this is my video editing program. If I come into import and go to media, this is the folder that I put everything into. And it's, as you can see, it's all single frame. I click here, I have 674 frames. And I go click open sequence. It comes in automatically. And now if I drag it to my timeline, I'm free to do whatever I want with it. And edit it, cut it, colorize it, whatever. So I would do that here in my video editing software. I wouldn't do that in uh, Unreal Engine. So anyway, that's all I had. Take care and I'll talk to you next time.